It's time for another Morning Hog Brew Review. Josh Mess, our Paradas, brought us great flavors from Motorworks. Drink up. It's Morning Hog Happy Hour. 95.7 The Hog, The Morning Hog, Riggs, Steve, Morning Hog Happy Hour. Josh Mess, our Paradas, right there. Oh, my God. Woo! And Josh brought a special <laughs> friend. I did. I don't know why I'm yelling at you. <laughs> Sorry. That's really aggressive. Good morning, buddy. How are you? What's up? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Who did you bring to, to enjoy some beers with us? I have Wes from Motorworks Brewing <gasps> Company. Wes from Motorworks! Yeah. How are you doing, guys? I could have read your Woo! shirt, uh, Wes. Doing better fun. now. Thanks. Welcome, Wes. Uh, th- thank you for bringing some of your uh, Motorworks beers. I've had one of these beers, but not all of them, so I feel like it's going to be a new beginning for all of us. Perfect. You know what I mean? Do you know which one you had previously? Uh, I believe I had Pulp. Okay. Yeah. That would be the one that Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, good. Okay. What do you want to start off with? Uh, do you want to start with Pulp Friction since we've, since we've already mentioned okay. it? Let's do, Let's do it. it. Pulp Friction. Uh, this is a grapefruit IPA. Okay. It's uh, mm. one best fruit beer, best Florida beer. Really? Uh got a lot of gold and silver medals it's, it, yeah you'll you'll notice that we uh how uh fruit forwarded it is for an ipa it's uh kind of got a uh, specialty uh grapefruit extract that is only made for us down did this can change there. by the way yes yeah, so, yeah oh. it's changed a couple times <laughs> Look at you. We, we used we put the logo and the name on the same side I, okay the i haven't even side. tried it yet and it's already delicious i bought this yeah. beer on site one time at uh, i guess total wine and uh and i loved it Ooh, and I, smells I, so good. I saw that can i was like it's something different i guess but I'll, I'm, I'm just gonna enjoy it like it's my first time I yeah. like that. That the grapefruit gives it a much more of a, a that oh, IPA yeah. sting. There you go. I love that. I was gonna say sass. Gives it sass. Mm. Yeah. Everybody has a uh, you know your brewery a core product, and for us this, this has been it for three or four years now. It's about, probably about half of what we sell. Mm. So uh, actually, when I started with, with the, the company, it was right when this was taken off. And you know, it's part of sales. You got to make sure you have good product. And I was like, I can sell this. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can get it. Yeah, you're like, I got this. I got. It. But uh, yeah, uh, it's definitely you know you'll, you'll notice know, a little, little different for, for an IPA. I mean, it's got the the hop bitterness, but not too much of it. You know, it's very balanced. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I'm digging that. And it's sure. six point eight percent. Yeah. So really? they get the job oh, done. Oh hey. Okay. They'll knock your D in the dirt. Yeah. You know? And they can't say eighty five IBUs if you're into that craft beer nerdiness, but it's really probably closer to sixty. Okay. I'm into, I'm into the Yeah, it's not a pallet record yeah. by any yeah. means. I just it. haven't changed the number on the can. <laughs> I like this. I'm into the flavor of that nerdiness mm-hmm. for sure. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's what, but I like the science mm. too. That's really good, dude. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to give us some specifics on Motorworks themselves, where they're from, where they're at? Yeah. Um, you know. The brewery is an old Hudson car dealership in, okay. the, oh. in, the, in the downtown Brainston area. It's this massive brick building if you ever get, yeah. get down there. And uh, it's got a huge like 20,000 square foot beer garden. I think it's the largest one in Florida. Yeah, beer garden. Or at least it was. It, it was for a long time. Yeah. I'm not sure if it still is. There's been they've been building. Some we, we'll say it is, but we'll, we'll still say <laughs> it. <laughs> we'll and then um, I I work out of Orlando, so we actually have a smaller you know, tap room and uh, you know, micro brewery right right on Orange and Jefferson, right in the middle down. Okay, there. nice. So, yeah, the Catholic Church. Well, <laughs> both both of the big churches downtown. Right next to us. So, this is the hot spot for. I like this. Come, come see us. Mm. Yeah, I love the beer. I didn't, yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know that was down there, man. Yeah. Shoot. Yeah. yeah. Oh, just in the area. St. Luke's is right hit, next hit. door. You you can walk into our bar and actually see a priest. In there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice. No, if you saw Steve walk in there, don't say what you would think. Yeah. Yeah. Don't say what you would think. Yeah. You're just, yeah. You, we, we've just Always. all met, so. <laughs> make There's it a too- lot. A lot scarier, more scarier things in downtown Orlando. <laughs> I can imagine. I've, I've heard. Yeah. I have seen the news sometimes. I know what's up. Um, well, that, but that uh, we've had grapefruit beers before. Yes, we've had ones that were just acidic and. Uh, this is smooth, man. Super, like I said, super balanced. In yeah. My yeah. You know, you're getting all the flavor of your IPA, but you're also getting that grapefruit on top. Yep. Of it, so it's really nice, easy drinking, great pool beer. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And, and anything beer. Yeah, beer, anytime beer. beer. Yeah. You're really, I don't care where you put me. I'll yeah. enjoy that. All I can think about with this heat is pools right now. So, I'll, you know, I'll stick around for the, the last two and I'm going to get jump in a pool. Sure. <laughs> Wes, if you'd like a, a photo of like us by a pool drinking the beer, maybe that could be on the next can. Well, hold on. Hold, hold, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> we have a new brochure we're working on that might. Brochure would be good for us. Now, yeah. see, yeah. I skinny dip. I skinny dip, so I don't know if that, oh, that picture is going to yeah. be appropriate. Yeah. Yeah. Might That's have to reconsider. Point. It's yeah. not much to blur anyway. Maybe so. some special <laughs> edition. <laughs> oh, wait on it. Someone give that man the rim shot. There we go. Okay. Singer. Nice mm. job. Wow. <laughs> 
Unbelievable, Josh. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, do we want to have another flavor? Or do we want to take a break? What do you want to do, Josh? You're you're driving the bus. Let's take a quick break and then we'll come back for those last two. We Let's will be it. back with more Morning Hog Brew review with Wes and Josh. 957 the Hog and the Morning Hog. 957 the Hog, the Morning Hog. Riggs, Steve, Josh, Wes, the Morning Hog Brew Review. We're talking Motorworks brews today. All the way from Orlando, Florida. Yeah, very far. Well, thank you. For, uh, listen, uh, w- the way the I-4 runs sometimes, uh, we appreciate you even uh, risking it to come over here <laughs> and bring us some tasty beers to kick off our weekend. And maybe people are hearing this and they're like, I want to try Motorworks. Exactly. Where can they find some of these beers? Luckily, places. Quite, quite a few places, actually. Yeah. Uh, Total Wine, ABC's, local independents. Right. But the best place to figure it out is SR Parat. Dot com, com slash beer finder? Bingo. We teamed up on that one. It's like a duet. It's like Sunny, Cher, Ebony, Ivory. We could go on. Uh, but we got a, a duet of beers left. What are we starting with? So we're going to do V Twin, which is a Vienna lager. And okay. I'll let Wes kind of talk to okay. while I pour. Well, that kind of spilled all over you. The V Twin engine, You're by the way, is a great, it's a good engine. <laughs> it's a good engine. So I'd assume the beer would be of equal quality. I'm just going to say that. Yeah, this this is actually the original beer we had produced when the brewery started in about 2014. It's called V-Twin because it's a Vienna lager. Obviously, it uses Vienna malt, so it's kind of okay. got a mm. bit of that you know, oh, richer malt good. taste with a little bit of that, like that. that firm bitterness behind it. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, we, we're, we're with SR Parat right. now, so uh, they, they are the big yingling seller, which is the kind of the category mm. leader for that that style of beer. Right. Is that the thought yeah. behind this, or well, the? I mean, obviously, I, you... no, not really. But there's a lot of Vienna lagers that are what, like Brooklyn Lager. Yeah, um, I mean, there's there's a ton of them. Quite a few out there. Uh, but if you're looking for a comparison out in that world to kind of see where yeah. you know flavor profiles are going to be, it's right in that yingling range. Okay. Yeah, that's um, right. Um, like but this Michael is Jordan of that category. <laughs> exactly yeah. right. And, Very uh, good. But Vienna lagers are actually uh, traditional. This is what a traditional Mexican beer would be. Vienna, Vienna really? Oh, really? Okay. Okay. I did Vienna not know malt. that. You know, it's not. It's not called a Vienna because they make it in Vienna. Almost. Yeah, it's just the, the, the style of malt. It is a mindset too. When I think about like uh, Mexican beer, and not that I just have them during holidays, but a lot of people will only have those during Cinco de Mayo. Or right, right, right. I know people would think that they like. They're fascinated that that beer exists year round. And you Steve, not, anytime. There's not a single Vienna sausage in here either. Not, not really. Not, not, not one. Really? Huh. Well, that's nope. probably why it's so clear. That would make it really <laughs> cloudy if you have Vienna sausages in there. Um, and you see, this one doesn't like break your palate. You know, right. You quite drink four of these. Uh, this, uh, agreed. Yeah. yeah. I, I could break these. <laughs> yeah, you could do, yeah, you could do this for for quite a while. Mm-hmm. What was our ABV? Did you yeah, tell us? what's that? Tell us what, what we're getting into on this one. 4.9. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah, you can just, yeah, so it's very doable. Yep. You, you can, can squash those. those. Just get <laughs> six pack for me. I'm not going to share any. You get your own. Right. Yeah, exactly. Sell more beer that way. Um, yeah, that's very. T- and, and you're right. I mean, again, smooth. It seems to be a theme smooth. here with your beers. Yeah. No attack. Smooth operator. No one's getting to, hurt. Try not to kill your palate with the first two. I like we that. Have the, we have oh. the pepper beer next. So. Oh. 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 All right. Hang on. Let me finish. All right. So what are what are we getting into here next? Because there's nothing I like more than a good spice. I know. You, I, I knew you'd be excited about right? this one. Um, this. This beer, we we've been making it for three or four years, tweaking it, and then I never thought it would like take off outside of Pulp Friction. It's been our big seller the last really? year. I won the gold medal at the U.S. Beer Open Championship last month. Really? Beer okay. Congratulations. Okay. And it won the gold medal at the Best Sported Bill for Beer for Chili Beer a couple months ago. So yeah, both both of so. those uh, categories were swept. And, uh, okay. Uses right. real habanero in it. It is. Oh. I feel bad for the uh, the brewers. Oh. The <laughs> yeah, exactly. oh. They're working on some new processes on you, how to uh, kind of scale that up. Oh, you were saying, but uh, you were you'll single. see, it's got the sweet heat. It's got the mango up front and the, uh, the heat on the back. Wow! So this is a mango habanero IPA. And uh, I never thought that a chili beer would be, you know. Oh my god! I love this. That's and very. And if you ever make it to our tap rooms, we got a, a lot of chili beers that we've we've kind of gotten into. Hmm. Over to, we make a jalapeno lime lager. Oh wow! Uh, uh, a big one that the people knew us for uh, was it an Imperial Porter. It was a, a Daddle Pepper Imperial Porter. Oh, really? It's also wow. on a, really? We, we don't put that in distribution. It's more, you know, it'll kill some, stain some lines yeah. in the bar. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> right, right. But it's a delicious beer, and, and if you ever make wow. it over to our any of our tap rooms, you'll 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 see the chili beers. So yeah, you know, I, I know you, you like know this one, right? Yeah. And this that yeah. th- that heat, special right that here. That heat sits on the back of my throat in a good way, though. For, it's not, right? It's not. 
It's not a lot. I've had but, some pepper but it's beers. Hanging, it's hanging out. It's like yeah. we're here. That are offensive. This, this is, is not that. No, mm-hmm. this is. There is a mango habanero whiskey that's yeah. out there, yeah. right? That I've had. That this is like the perfect companion to. There but I go. like this better because I can have more of this. Like, <laughs> the whiskey makes me black out in the closet. So this is way better. <laughs> yeah, I, and I, you know? I've walked into a couple restaurants and tried to you know sell them on it, and they're like, "Oh, we make a mango habanero margarita." Right. You know? So yeah, it's definitely kind of that flavor category that's spilled over yeah, into God, a couple different perfectly uh, styles. Yeah. Of yeah. Right amount of fire. It really is not an attack on the front. But no. Wow. Okay. Yeah. God for us, it. it's a place to differentiate ourselves. Spectacular. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, and it's something you know, you don't see coming. I've been selling beer for a long time, and I never thought I'd sell a you know a beer with spice to it that people I love. It's good. God, I love it. Where yeah. Is yeah. This? yeah. So we have it's these cool. all available draft and package. That's really? A, that's the other cool thing. Really? So when you're out there or you're checking out the website. Yeah. Oh, srprod.com slash beer funding you're talking about? That one. Oh, my God. My cup went empty. Oh, no. Oh, Wes. <laughs> what am I going to do? Uh, so you mentioned the tap rooms, though. So get, let's talk about them again. Where can people come and, uh, and try some of the uh, these well, and then well, maybe more? Closest to this to the Daytona market. Yeah. Right in downtown Orlando, we have a, a tap room that we open, you know, uh, wisely right after the pandemic. You know, <laughs> good choice. Uh, good choice. Right at Orange and <laughs> Jefferson, right downtown, right next to St. James or Saint, and St. Saint Luke's Cathedral. Okay. So you, can't miss it. And then uh, in Bradenton, uh, we have a, a very, very large brewery right at hmm. the street. Okay. And, uh, and uh, right in the downtown area. For good reasons for road trips, I think. Oh, oh yeah. So. Oh, yeah. I mean, for crying out loud. And then we, we'll give out Josh's cell number here in a minute. If you can't find the yeah. beers, you just call Perfect. him directly. And he'll yeah, have I'm looking forward to that. He's yeah, got some in his truck. We're out selling the market, so you, you can find us in a lot of the, of the bars and yeah. the land to New Smyrna. And, yeah. Uh, All the way out to Flagler and Palm Flagler. Coast. and love this. So... <laughs> Wide variety, and we're all over the place right now. I feel like it's a good time, too, because there's going to be some racing in Daytona before we know it. You'll be oh, thinking man. about motors. You'll be thinking about motor, and the yeah. motor works. Yeah. You get the beer, and then you forget all about going to the racetrack. <laughs> you sit down and have some beers. You right. know? I think they let you bring your own cooler into that. Uh, right? Yes, they do. <laughs> oh, okay. Boom. Look you at can that. bring whatever you want to sell. drink. Oh, yeah. Plus, you can bring up. Look at sandwich and <laughs> chips. You can go all out. He's right? so excited. It's a great gonna, time. Well, holy, what's, Steve's going to do your food pairings in a minute. It'll be yeah, yeah, yeah. In, a, in a special third segment that we won't air. <laughs> we, we, we do do the fall, usually a little promo with the, the Girl Scout cookie pairing thing. So, you know. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? oh, okay. okay. <laughs> and, uh, and we'll also be bringing a little bit of our, our pumpkin ale, Haya Gordy, into the market. So yes. you'll, you'll be seeing that on draft. And okay. We'll really? we have cans going in a total wine. Get the Looking forward to that. Kind of oh. Now, Haya Gordy. Yeah. It took me a minute to, to make the connection, but yeah. it yeah. gourds. I adjudge- no, yeah. gourds gone or whatever it is. Well, that's another brewery. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's another brewery. <laughs> well, I know, but, <laughs> but you know, Hiya Georgia the from the gourd, movie yeah. It. He hmm. says Hiya Georgie. Hiya Georgie. From down in the. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah from the right, sewer. There you yeah. go. Oh, I like it. Yeah, we, we, it took us a while to come up with a uh, name to compete with Pulp Friction. Oh, yeah. You know, but, uh, yeah, yeah, he nailed it. You, yeah. You just call it Pumpkin Ale, and people are going to be like, oh, it's Pumpkin Ale. We screwed If you. You know, you throw, I like throw something witty. Throw a horror, horror movie reference in there. I like You're all it. good to go. There's your season. I mean, that's a seasonal, but that's a, that's a deep yeah. dive seasonal right there. Yeah, yep. yeah. Mm. So you'll see that. That'll be in a, if you're in Orlando at SeaWorld. Okay. Oh, really? Starting nice. Starting this week through oh, the Hall of Scream I, event that they have coming up, you know. Okay. They have a craft beer festival they do now. We're giving away um, tickets. So yeah. So it, it, we'll have our Oktoberfest, our, our Espresso, Midnight Espresso, and our... Uh, I agree, pumpkin ale. If you want to go try those beers that Wes just mentioned, uh, 257-0324, we have some SeaWorld Craft Beer Festival tickets yeah. to give away right now. We're nice. One of the features. Right now. One. Yeah. Uh, two, here, here, you have to text us in. Text in the word, Josh likes beer a lot, <laughs> to 257-0324. I mean, I'll be there on Saturday. <laughs> I might get me one. Yeah, there right. you go. Yeah, you'll, you'll see it. <laughs> Steve, Steve might. might. He's with a little well, asterisk, brother. You can't. Cake, the cakes are getting dropped off today. I pretty much right. am going to be there. Yeah. So he'll be on a roller coaster. I don't know if he can yeah, drink no, it. I think he's going to physically be there. But they let you bring a beer on the roller coaster. No, I'm there to watch Payable on Death. Oh, that's oh, right. Man. That's right. They're POD. Uh, well, Motorworks. Uh, yeah, they're playing. Yeah, you want to go? Two shows. Let's all go. Uh, Let's down. go. It's tomorrow. Let's get out of here. <laughs> It'll probably take tomorrow to get there. <laughs> uh, well, thank you for bringing us no, great th- beers. Thank you, for thank you very much for those flavors. Uh, uh, until the next MotorWorks beer in our hand, cheers!